if you've ever tried to send cold emails from a brand new email or domain, you've probably found the results just aren't that great. So in this video, we'll be teaching you how to fix that and how to warm up that email and that domain to ensure you get great results. Let's dive in. The first step to warming up an email is actually to make sure there's lots of activity. So think about it. If you're Gmail or Outlook and you're trying to identify which emails are likely spam, it's gonna be the emails that have no activity. So send some emails back and forth with friends and colleagues, mark them important, then also subscribe to tons of different newsletters. And what this does is it makes your email look very similar to emails of everyday people. Everyday people are subscribed to tons of different newsletters and so should the email you're sending your cold emails from. So hop into intercom.com, subscribe to the newsletter, hop into leadloft.com, subscribe to ours, and just repeat this process with 20 or so companies. The next option for warming up an email is an automated one. And I actually recommend doing both of these, but this one is for anybody who's looking for a nice easy path. So you can go sign up for a service. They're called email warming services. The one that we like is known as Warmbox. And basically you can hop into it, set up your settings, and you can scale slowly. So maybe start with two emails a day. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna have tons of emails within their database that actually automatically communicate with yours like robots. And what they're gonna do is when they receive your emails, if they land in spam, they're gonna mark them not spam. If they land anywhere else, they're just gonna mark them important. And what this does is it sends indicators to email service providers like Google or Outlook that your email is actually important and should be delivered to the primary inbox. So it's a really cool method for warming up an email if you're looking for an easier way to do it. And once you have this cold email service set up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is to run it continuously alongside your cold email campaigns. And what this does is it ensures that your cold emails perform well over time. If you've ever sent cold emails in the past, you've probably noticed that over time, your open rates decline. And this will ensure that never happens. So run your cold email warming service alongside your cold email campaigns for basically ever. And that's how you warm up your email before sending your first cold email campaign. We'll see you in the next video.